Hello, my name is Bakari, and I'm a writer for the um, wonderhowto.com, and my blog on there is Mac How To. And um, I wrote an article uh, about a week ago, or so well, and a couple weeks ago, about some of my favorite uh, top ten uh, menu bar applications. And one of those um, applications I talked about was um, Butler. And um, I kind of wanted to do like a little quick video about an application called Butler. And Butler is put out by um, a site, it's uh, some developers on Minitricks.com. And Butler's been around for a long time, but a lot of new users to Mac may not know too much about it. Uh, Butler is not the most attractive application in the world here. You know, it's how it looks in terms of its configuration. Uh, but you can do a lot of things with it. And one of the things you can do is, is you can get things put into your menu bar using Butler, as well as use it for um, a hotkey um, launcher, that kind of thing. So let me show you a few things first, and then we'll come back to this configuration uh, menu here. Uh, one of the things you can do with Butler is put in, say, your um, what's called an iTunes Smart Item. And here what you can do is I can control, it's like a little bit of a navigation control, where I can start and stop iTunes, or I can rate a current song, or go to the next track or previous track. And there's some other things you can do as well, but these are the three or four items that I use it for. And you can also use it to um, as kind of a URL launcher where, you know, you can uh, create a folder of URLs that you want to go to and you can do it from your menu bar as well as you can put your address book um, within your menu bar here and access, um, you know, your contacts that way. You can also create a folder of uh, favorite items, um, applications, or you can, you know, uh, files, or anything that you want to access without going to your dock. Maybe you don't want to put these applications in your dock, but you want to have easy access to them in your menu bar. Here you can create a folder of those as well. Another thing that uh, Butler has is a, let me pull this up here, is a um, clipboard manager. So when you make a lot of um, clippings, um, you know, in your on your Mac, you know, be it uh, different files or what have you, and you click copying and pasting stuff, um, Butler will keep track of those copies and uh, you can access them here. You can, you know, do as many pasteboard items as you like, up to, I think, 50 or 100 or so, and you can do that. So you can pull that up really quickly as well. So let's bring back the configuration. Let me just show you a few things that you can do. Um, if you go down here and click on the plus sign and you go to Smart Items, you'll see where this is where you can add the um, iTunes um, navigation thing in your um, in your menu bar here. And these are all the items. You don't have to add all these items, but you can add any of these items that you like to add to it. Um, if, say, let me add uh, one that I haven't done to my bar. Say I wanted to do... I wanted to put a web search in my um, menu bar. So basically, I just click on that, and it'll bounce up into here. And what you want to do is drag it under, it says, menu bar left, or you can do menu bar uh, natural, wherever you want to do it. And uh, so basically, you come back up here, you see I have a Google web search right there in my menu bar. So I don't have to go to my web browser first. I can just, you know, click in here and start typing the key terms if I want it. Now, I wouldn't keep it in there because I don't necessarily use it, but that's something that you can use it for. Um, and so, again, if you don't want to, you know, if you don't like that, you can just click it here. Oh, and by the way, if, say, for example, I wanted to, um, I can also use that item. I can select this item and go over here under triggers, and I can set a um, hotkey, um, shortcut key, for that uh, for that search as well so for that particular item so you can do that or um, you can also put um, that you can access this search by clicking one of these corners of your screen so say if you put it here and you put your cursor in that corner of the screen um, that web search item will will um, show up or say here this is for if you put your cursor there and you uh, click your, I think, your main menu um, on your mouse, something like that, the, the, the main button on your mouse, that will bring it up as well. So you can just kind of play around with that. But, um, so again, you know, this is kind of a way to bring up these items. And, and each item that you put into your configuration, where you can be able to do a hot key or a hot, a hot corner to bring it up. So, for example, I have an app called Radio.com. 
and I can access it by clicking here on the um, right side of my uh, monitor and it will bring up the, the Radio app, okay, with using my mouse. So, um, you know, it has a lot of functionalities and actually, you know, I've been using Butler for a long time and I'm always finding something new that I can use it for, particularly in terms of the smart items. The smart items is what you really want to learn how to use. Um, if you want to create a folder of items, basically you would uh, first create a container, and like here, and then what you would do is you can you know, name that container uh, favorite website, let's see, favorite site, something like that. And then basically all you have to do is when you when you say you have a, a favorite site, you can take that site and you can just drag it right in here. And basically what it does is just you know, and you can you can change the uh, the name of it if you like as well. All right, and so it just kind of gives you kind of a hot link to that site. And the same thing for applications. You can drag applications in in this in here, or you can drag your favorite files. Pretty much anything that you launch on your Mac, you can pretty much drag into a folder. And then of course you can make a hot a hot key to bring up that folder, or you can put that folder in your menu bar. All right, and so that's basically how you use Butler. Uh, Butler, I think, is about twenty dollars, but you can also download it for a free trial. Um, I would, again, if if you know if you're just getting started with Mac, I would definitely suggest Butler. It's again, it's not you know a really, uh, it's not necessarily an intuitive kind of application to use, but it's not that difficult to use. And there's a man, there's a couple of there's a manual on the site for it, and there's also a couple of other tutorial. Um, uh, video tutorials that you can find on YouTube as well besides mine. So if you have any questions, um, definitely you know go into my blog on wonderhowto.com uh, or machowto.com and um, you know ask questions here. I think in in my blog you can somewhere you can you can go there to ask questions and um, I can help you out with that. But definitely check out Butler. I think you can get a 30 day free trial to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching this video and see you again.